All right, just want to say a quick hello, but on until tomorrow, part two. Hope you enjoyed the first one. Hope you certainly watched it. I'm um, gonna get straight in here. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay. So. So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. All right, we got Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, trusting, irreverence, uh, confidence. She was the one more or less setting up the prank, wasn't she? Mike's new girlfriend. Who's the old girlfriend? I forget. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. All right, we're playing this air now. I thought that was one long could see that. What the hell? <laughs> Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Oh, uh, explain. I'm with Mike now. Yeah. Let's be straight. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? All right, Emily, Mike's ex-intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Seemed a bit of a bitch in the first part, didn't she? Um, I do remember it from the prank. I'm just learning on who's who here. So she was with Mike at the time. 
it was Jess who was sort of sticking up for her during that prank, oddly enough. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. All right, Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, ambitious, active, motivated. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? All right, we're walking. I guess he is the bellboy. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> All right, the infamous Mike, Emily's ex, we know that part. Uh, intelligent, driven, persuasive. That did jump scare me. I had the microphone muted, so you didn't get to hear me scream. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Oh, we could go two ways on this. Threaten or welcome. Uh, oh, should we threaten him? Fuck it. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Um. Just before it decides on that, I just want to point the reason I made the last decision was Mike was being a dick, wasn't he? Towards Emily. Uh, like, you always get like that. He was making a personal comment and he knows who's with this guy. Matt, I think his name is. I'll learn the names a bit better. So that's why I chose that. Um, agree. Agree. We can't really tell her what to do. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Oh, I don't like it already. All right, we got Ashley has a crush on Chris. Does he not have a crush on her? Academic, inquisitive, forthright. Am I getting that wrong? I'm sure Chris had the crush on it anyway. It was in the last part, I think. All right, we're looking around. Was that? I forget the name. That's the blonde girl at the cable car station. Whoa, hello. Oh. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Mmm, drama's already. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Just Louise, Well, Matt. I did mean to 
scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare oh my you. Oh gosh, oh my god! <laughs> hey, wow. Well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. Uh, oh, do we want to get involved? Miss Lead, he's going to see them too, isn't he? Uh, and Curry's take a look. She doesn't, she seems a sweetheart because she wasn't even cursing then. Uh, we're going to try and avoid the situation, I think. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just what for real. I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. No, really, Matt, it's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no, no. All right. Uh, sure, if you say so. All right, we're playing as actually a thing. I don't know. Oh, no, we're not. All right, Jessica, that's her name. Rebook, check phone. Uh, I think most young teenagers check the phone. Most people check the phone now. Not just teenagers. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab a snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> We're gonna get him with every oh, possible shot we can. Great. Hey, <laughs> you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Oh! Ah! Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello! Come on! Hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. Oh, you got me? Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Why the hell would the one I aim at the bird? I'm not doing that. Whoa! Ow! That's right! Mind you, Jess. And then what? Oh, oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was... Making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Who's that last one? How are we feeling? Hmm? 
In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Men worry me, or when women worry me, um... I mean, it's not gonna be not like specific. I, I don't even know whether our character is a boy or a girl. I, I'm thinking, I, not for me, but maybe men get nervous around women more than men. I don't know, I'll go with that. I'm kind of 50 uh, 50, 50 on it. I don't understand it too much. Alright, what else we got? Ground scare me, not at all. Plain scare me, terrified of flying. That is me. Uh, fear heights, fear drowning, not so much drowning, I was in the Navy, for those that don't know. Uh, fear of heights, I've not got a fear of heights, I've got a weird fear, where if I stand next to a tall building and lock up, I've got a, a weird thing with that, that I start going dizzy and stuff, but stood like that lady with the shoes on there, that wouldn't phase me. So, um, but that's probably the closest, so I'll go with that. Uh, snakes, neither really bothers me. Probably more rats, because we don't really, in England, we don't really deal with snakes. Um, so, rats. Mm, knives are more scary, I think, personally, to me, because they're more common than guns are. Uh, in England at least, so we'll go with that. Uh, neither. Absolutely neither. Cockroaches, uh, rats, cockroaches. I'll go with rats only because that's kind of like the more of the two, but neither fear me. I suppose rats carry infection and stuff. Clowns scare me, I fear scarecrows. Right, neither of them scares me, but a clown that looks like that probably would. But you get your little regular, you know, fucking regular Joe Clown, that's not going to do that. But not in particular, clowns scare me, but that one probably would, so we'll go with that. But the face on the scarecrow from the other part, that was a little unsettling. Gore disgusts me. No, it does not. Crows are scary. See, I mean, this is like, which is more of the two, I don't find either, so, uh, I think we got the crows. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. No. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Hasn't he got some weird facial animations? I just want to say, just before we move on to the next bit, oh, I'm going to open this up. Uh, I will be finishing the part after this segment finishes, so I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to get in touch, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all links are below. I hope you'd enjoy it. Like, comment if you did, whatever. Share if you could. That'd be fantastic. But anyway... Going to continue this, it's going to cut out, and hopefully I'll see you in part three. Alright, anyway, spiders. Not the common house spider, but like tarantulas and shit, like I wouldn't have one crawl on me, I wouldn't like that. So we'll go with that one. Needles, all the way. Fucking hate them. Uh, again before, clowns don't phase me, but that one probably would. Zombies, don't, uh, most things I watch or play are zombie things. 
games and, and The Walking Dead and whatnot. Um, so probably the clowns out of the two. Uh, I don't fear dogs. I own a dog. Uh, needless again. And we have needles all the way. Storms don't scare me at all. I don't see the, the scariness with them. Although I probably this couldn't understand it. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. That room's getting darker, isn't it? It was like a, a bright, like, sunlight color before. 